Traversing around Minecraft is inevitable. Everyone needs to move around. Well, <laughs> unless you're this guy. Can Minecraft be beaten without using a keyboard? The short answer is yes. We have a water bucket. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're on the pig. Let's go. Let's go, wait. Wait, no. Refrigerator, I can't get out. Walking, running, riding a horse, or going for a nice boat ride. These are some of the pleasant ways to see this beautiful blocky world and it's essential to move in the game. You'll be doing a lot of it if you want to get out there and adventure. Over the years, Minecraft have added plenty of new ways to move around. We've seen complex minecart systems, crazy ice boat tunnels of doom, <laughs> taming your neighboring camel, or the classic Piggy Carrot Ride. On October the 7th, 2015, Minecraft added an item that would change the ways players traverse forever. Yes, I'm talking about the Elytra. You may be wondering, Jordan, how do you get a new cape? It's not a new cape. It's actually a new item. It's called the Elytra. You wear it in your chest plate slot, and it's a wingsuit. You can hover or kind of glide with these things. Swoosh, swoop. Your feet start kicking when you really wind up losing momentum, so you can actually glide for a long time as long as you're careful. Feet in Minecraft now came with this immense reward after slaughtering the dragon and stealing its child. <laughs> you could now crawl through the sus one by one vent, entering the magic back rooms of the end. Here lives the random floating pirate ships, a vomiting tea in a twisty box, and crazy teleporting drug fruit. <laughs> What the hell am I reading here? Subscribe, or next time you use your elytra, you might crash into a camel. Anyway, back to the story. After slaying the vomiting gremlins, you make your way up the tallest tower to find the floating ships. Here, you must slay the last beast to take your precious wings. This is it. You've done it. Now there's no going back. Endless travel awaits. So, what's the problem? You say out loud, looking over all of your old ways of moving around. Frank, the noble horse, tied up, never to be ridden again. Yeah, he looks sad. You look over to see your first Minecraft track that you and your best buddy spent weeks on. The boats by the shore are burned dry. You promised yourself you'd go out sailing, but with these new wings. Is there much point? As you fly high into the sky, soaring at high speeds. Does the biomes beneath quickly change before your eyes? You think to yourself. Are these elytras too powerful? Do they ruin all other ways to see the world? Elytras are wonderful at getting you to the destination quickly, but it seems to cut out the main purpose. The journey. A great quote once said, when we rush, we skim the surface and fail to make real connections with the world or other people. Google 2024. <laughs> okay, enough storytelling. Let's get serious. The Elytra makes all other modes of transport irrelevant, and that got me thinking. What could Moyang do to improve other ways of transport without nerfing the Elytra? Well, let's look at the pros and cons of the Elytra to start. The pros. Super fast to get you anywhere. Great durability with unbreaking three and mending. You're basically a bird. The cons are, it takes up your chest piece slot and there's no added carrying capabilities. So we know we can't beat how fast and how strong the elytra is, but we can take its negatives and use it to boost other means of transport. Let's start with minecarts. Not that dweeb. One of the ways minecarts and minecart tracks can be improved is the way they are crafted. Mojang still want us to build powered rails from gold. I feel if they change this to copper, which is still a great conductive metal, which is a lot more common than gold, people would be able to build great railways a lot faster and cheaper. And while we're using copper ore, we can allow the player to choose whether they want to wax the rails, to go faster, or leave the rails to oxidize, causing more friction to travel slower on different parts. This would be amazing when building a coaster with sections you want the player to move slowly on and then whiz by on others. This feels a lot more natural. Also, Mojang, one more thing. Could we add a double minecart chest? Vertically, perhaps? Anyway, let's move on. Horses are a great mode for transportation. But I feel like they need to be buffed to challenge the elytra. Storage is also something that could be improved as horses are known for being immense powerhouses. A simple addition could be adding reins. Attaching these to sleighs or carriages could see the player moving their entire base's worth of items in one go. Or even attaching the reins to a plow 
Imagine cultivating your giant wheat fields with your buddy. Other than this, Mojang can take advantage of their new ores to give the horses different armors, which could in turn change the horses' stats and buffs. We have so many different variations of horses in Minecraft, but no real advantage of using them apart from appearance. Adding powerful worker breeds like Shire Horses or Clydesdale would fit the role better with these new upgrades. In a recent April Fool's update, Minecraft added in the Lashing Potato. Now, this awesome utility allowed us to become a starchy Spider-Man. For the first time in Minecraft's history, the Minecraft Bedrock Edition community is included in Mojang's April Fool's joke. You could swing from island to island like Carby Arachnid. <laughs> you oh my god, I just gooed everywhere. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this whole concept seems pretty good. Apart from the whole potato thing. A grappling hook attachment onto the crossbow could be the perfect filler for exploration. Sometimes the elytra doesn't work in some scenarios such as cramped dark caves or flying in a bubbling nether. This weapon could be transformed into a delicate get out of jail card when you need it the most. With the crossbow already having a timed cooldown in between shots, the grappling ammo could work the same. I think you'll know that Mojang is never going to nerf the elytras as they are the perfect mode of transport and this is a fitting end game item a worthy prize for slaying the dragon but hopefully one day we can see other ways of getting around minecraft being improved and shown the love they deserve thanks for watching today's video drop a like and subscribe if you are new recently we set up our own patreon page here you can support us and get access to awesome new features such as behind the scenes of how ash puts these videos together buddy's videos early and also your minecraft skin and name appearing in every Every video like this. Join the Discord below and we'll see you next Sunday for some more buddies content.